Getty Park, a scene of a beautiful start to the day out there. And our Fox 35 Storm Team meteorologist Allison Gargaro joining us live with the Fox 35 Storm Team Thunder Truck. Al, the excitement builds. I know we're excited, and the folks out there likely excited as well. Good morning to you. Good morning, Jamie. You are exactly on point. Everybody is so excited for the launch that all important time 903 PM tonight, and this is where you can get a fabulous seat. Jetty Park, come out and watch that launch. Now we've been seeing a lot of folks that are already out here. We have a family from Canada. I had a group from Chicago and another man said, hey, he just got in his RV and he's driving across the country and it just so happens he stopped in Brevard County just in time for that launch. So right now, there's an 80% chance of a go for launch, which is always good news. But I have more details on your hour by hour forecast, what you can expect if you will be watching that launch live right here on the Space Coast. More details coming up in just a few minutes. We're going to send it back to you. We will take it, Allie. Thank you. And Fox 35's countdown clock is a ticking down. We are 12 hours now from the launch of Crew 3 to the International Space Station. This morning, we can expect people all along the coast to start saving their spots because they want to see that four person crew lift off. I love that it's 903 in the morning and at 903 oh, at night is exactly go. when it's going to go. Hours. Yes, exactly. how cool is that, Amanda McKenzie? <laughs> that is pretty cool. So just a 12 hour wait now until we can hopefully see that rocket take off this evening. They are going to be heading out for a six month science mission where they'll be conducting experiments. Some will even be focusing on the astronauts immune system in space before, during and after the flight. A SpaceX, SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon Endurance spacecraft will carry NASA astronauts Raha Shari, Tom Marshburn, Kayla Barron, and ESA astronaut Matthias Maurer to the International Space Station. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson expressed his excitement for the mission at the Kennedy Space Center. This is going to be a, a great mission. Uh, we were down for a while uh, after we retired the space shuttle. Uh, it took us uh, uh, additional time that we didn't expect, but now we are launching Americans on American rockets from American soil. This is the first time NASA has decided to do an indirect handover of space station crews, meaning that NASA brought home the four Crew-2 astronauts from the ISS before launching their replacements. The Crew-2 astronauts spent about 200 days in space and splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico on Monday. NASA says the astronauts are in good shape and cleared for flight tonight. Live in the studio, Amanda McKenzie, Fox 35 News.